I created Renegade. The dance moved to TikTok like somebody brought it to TikTok. I didn't know. I didn't really think Renegade was gonna get viral. The biggest dance trend on the internet right now is called the Renegade. It's a huge viral hit. Literally the most viral dance on TikTok. No one was crediting the dance's creator. Jalea received zero recognition. You're known now for the Renegade dance, but you're so much more than that. Um, hmm, that's a good question. I think it's really cool that I, as a young black girl, um, get to have a documentary about them, just about what they love doing, hanging out with their friends, you know, just being themselves. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Cause usually people just ask me about the renegade. Jalea Harmon is a very talented, young, chill teenager, I guess. You know, I love dancing, I love everything I do, I um, love my family. Just a very loving, chill person. Yeah. Jalea has always been a very quiet child. She's definitely a mama's girl. You know, I always tell her, I'm like, Jalea, you do have two parents. She prides herself on not wanting to disappoint, um, especially the adults in her life. She is quite bashful until the cameras roll, then she shows up and does what she needs to do. And then she goes back to like meek and mild Jalea. I kind of love that about her because as she's grown into, you know, becoming a young woman, that meek and mild really translates to like swag. It, tra it translates to like her cool and like she just has like such an admirable level of cool that I think is really what so many people love about her. Jalea came um, into my life a month earlier than she was supposed to. I've always like been so, not even obsessed with her, but I just love her because she is just who she is. I knew she was special. I didn't know she was this kind of special. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just very, like, passionate about, like, if I'm passionate about something, that's what I will do. You know, I saw her before all the fame and stuff, so when she was just playing Just Dance, you know, in her bedroom and stuff, I would see her, like, you know, catch on really quickly. Um, and. I mean, you don't think anything of it. You just kind of see, and then she starts doing all these other little dances, and you know, she's trying to learn how to flip. And I remember, you know, one day thinking, I think I was maybe talking to Stephanie, and I was like, I, I keep passing this this dance studio. Let me let me ask those people, and you know, convenient for me. That's what I'm thinking. Convenient for me on the way to work. And so I remember going and, and talking to the lady. I can tell you right now, what those girls are doing in there, whatever ballet spin that is, yeah, she does those like 10 times in Kroger. And so she kind of looked at me like, mm, okay, we'll see. And of course, Jalea had to audition. I'm like, she's not gonna have to audition. Just like, let her take whatever classes you got. Like, it's fine. And, you know, I remember a week later, she was like, oh my God, she's so good. She's so, like, I was like, I told you, I told you. She's one of those kids where, like, if it can be done physically, then you know she could do it. And then next thing you know, she's in the advanced tap class and in the front at the recitals and competitions. Usually it takes like maybe about two years to really become proficient in point ballet. But she, again, progressed through that super fast because she was so determined to get those point shoes and stand on those toes. And so she did it. If you really get to watch like old tapes of her, you know, at competitions and stuff like that, she's a monster. So once you're here, you want to make sure that you leave some space so that they can get out too. Then he's, oh, I need he's to take, press. He's gonna take points off, right? Mm -hmm. So remember, one, two, three, four. I can get my driver's license this year. That's one thing that I'm really excited about because 
tired of asking my parents to take me places when they can't take me places. Her dad is definitely teaching her how to drive. And he's a good driver. He's a good, slow driver. I've been telling her, you know, watch me, not your mother, watch me drive and watch what I do, watch where we're going. I've been told that I drive more like my mom because she kind of goes a little bit fast, a little bit. I just, I don't know where this need for speed came from. She's a safe driver though. You stop, when it's your turn, you go. Jalea and Ryan's relationship, if I had to uh, associate one word with their relationship, it would be organic. When he talks, she listens, like, no question. She trusts what he says. Their relationship is just amazing, and I'm very grateful for it. Very. I think it was around 2014, 2015, when they first, when they first met each other. I think my favorite story would be when he used to make her all those cranes. Everybody's favorite story, that would be the, the crane, uh, the crane story. So there's this legend um, about uh, Japanese paper cranes. And if you make a thousand cranes, then you get a wish. So after I realized I really liked Stephanie, I folded this crane and I put a number on the wing. And on there, I put a little note with it and I said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And I said, this is the first step. And so after that, I kept like giving her these little cranes and I would stick them in these different places around the school. And the idea was after a thousand cranes, like, she would be my wish. And, oh, and that was, you know, we even have like matching tattoos to, to, uh, to signify <laughs> our crane affair. Now, it's extremely important that, you know, uh, I show Jalea like what a loving relationship looks like and most people don't even know that she's, you know, my stepdaughter. We don't even use that, that verbiage in the house. So it's kind of cool. Our blending our family together was, was, you know, almost seamless. You know, it, it kind of flowed together nicely. I don't know if she felt like she needed a father figure because uh, her, you know, her real father is not, you know, in the picture, um, but, She's, you know, she's my kid. So this year you're going, well, you can't go to the prom. You play junior dudes and you go to the prom. Who are you trying to go to the prom nobody. with? Okay. Who are you trying like to date? <laughs> I want her to know that she should just develop a relationship that is just as authentic and organic. I, I'll tell her that all the time, like you don't have to thirst for friends or companionship, like those things should just happen. So I would say my crew is me, Linnea, Norris, and Maddie. When I met them at Dance for One One, I had got invited there to teach the renegade dance. I started following them on social media. We started getting each other's numbers, and that's really how we made our bond. When I first met her, you know, she was this quiet girl who, you know, was just known as a TikTok dancer. Like, you know, she came, actually she came to Dance 401 to teach us the renegade before I taught class. I went to go ask, you know, Jalea about herself or just have casual conversation. And she was one word in me. She was like, yes, okay, <laughs> yeah. That first impression of her is not really that impression of her because now look at it, she's just goofy. He's like my best friend. I'm really inspired by him. Like he does mostly hip hop. He works with Lil Baby, uh, City Girls, Missy Elliott. So yeah, he really inspires me a lot to, you know, make my own choreography and just do what I love. Yeah. With me and my friends, I'm way more goofy. They know my goofy side more than school friends. They just like know more about me. But when I'm dancing, really, that's when I mostly get out of my show because like if I'm on stage, I don't think about nothing else but just killing it on stage and just doing me on stage. But like, yeah, I just like to be really focused. You just can't explain it. You know, just can't I know it. it like it's in my head, but I can't get the words to like. Come on. <laughs> the re so basically, the renegade. And so it was like. <sighs> <laughs> it's what it's. The first day I created Renegade, it was just a normal day for me. I had found this song, and I just thought it was a really cool song to make a dance to. And I saw that everybody was doing this dance, and they weren't tagging me when they did the dance. They either weren't tagging anyone or they were tagging um, 
Charlie. Oh yeah, it's still people in my comments. You, 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 this, you, that, you, Ricky, Charlie, blah, blah, blah. All that crap. <laughs> yeah. I just really, at the end of the day, I really did just want people to give me my credit.